the Miss Universe pageant. The commentary was ridiculous. What, what day was that on? Saturday or Sunday? All right, here we go. Uh, Miss Universe 2006 audio banter and play by play. We had Donald Trump on the phone Friday, so we should play this out. He was promoting uh, Miss Universe. Miss Universe, and that it's not like Miss America, which is based on like talent and stupid stuff like that. This is just about how hot the girls are. They parade them out in various outfits, and uh, people vote on how hot they are. They don't care if they got a brain in their head. And uh, then they vote. Whoever wins is Miss Universe. Right. That's nice. And I was commenting on the Donald, how many uh, planets he's actually <laughs> culled girls from. And coincidentally enough, just Earth has made it into the finals. Not one girl from another planet. And it's the whole universe. It's the whole universe I involved. Know. I don't think that Donald really looked. Mars, that wasn't, far. Up, uh, Mars wasn't up to it. Uh, this Mars year. has ugly chicks. Ugly chicks. Apparently. How do you know? I, I would think because of the atmosphere. Just because they have five boobs, they're, they're, they're ugly chicks. Jupiter, fat chicks because of the gravity. Ah. Pulls them all down. Who's they're got the big thin chicks? Thin chicks, I think some place like Mercury would have like thin chicks. Venus and Mercury because it's hot. Very hot. Well, there's less gravity. That's where the darkies live. The smaller planet That's has where the darkies <laughs> live in the universe. <laughs> Too close to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. taller, taller chicks are on these smaller planets. Yeah, Pluto, skinny like like model chicks there. All right, here we go. So uh, this is what's weird. We got to talk to Donald Trump. Miss mm -hmm. Universe, hot chicks in all sorts of hot outfits. They have a uh, a woman commentator and a gay guy. And a gay guy. Why ruin it with a gay guy? I understand. Look. You gay guys want to have your own shows. You, you put them all over. You got your own network now. That's what logo. logo's for. You got your own logo channel now. You play all the gay stuff you want. Could you stay out of the programming that is based on guys sitting there looking at hot women? The only thing this show is is parading around hot girls for guys to look at in bikinis, lingerie, things like that. Do not bring a gay guy into this. i, I tell you one reason they're probably doing it is they think they're going to get women to watch. No. Because they think that the funny repartee between the two of them is going to attract female viewers. They think they got the guys around. No, it's not. It's, yes. It's, and who's the gay guy? It. The blonde guy from uh, Queer Eye? Carson? You know his name? I guess. <laughs> I guess I know all their names. There's Carson and the other... I don't know any of these. All right, listen. Names. Here's the intro. Here's Carson and... Uh, and who is the chick? Um, last year's runner-up for Miss Universe. Oh, boy. She must have a lot to oh, say that's boy. funny and interesting. <laughs> well, she wants to go into broadcasting, so oh, here's She's going to be horrific. They all want to go into broadcasting. Well, honey, let's just say I'm so excited to travel around the world with you, Miss Shandy, queen of the beauty jungle. That's not and the girl. the best part is we didn't have to have any vaccination. <laughs> well, I don't know about you. Yeah, anyway. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Carp. It's, We've been, uh, ladies it's been joking. praying around Funny. the clock oh, for no? this big night. <laughs> oh, my God, and so have I. Yeah? I've been getting myself into a global frenzy. Yeah. I berlitzed myself. I rented Roman Holiday and a passage to India. And I went to my closet and I dragged out my clubs, my saris, my kimonos. Oh my God, I'm so jet lagged and we just started. Yeah, we did. Well, tonight Carson and I, and I are going to offer some very insightful oh, and yet boy. interesting remarks about what actually happens during the competition. Translation, we're going to say whatever comes to mind. It's like just, always. you know, that no filter thing. <laughs> but back to our two gorgeous hosts. No filter is a little dangerous for Carson. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to thank him, but I'm not sure if I should. Yeah, no condom well, is dangerous <laughs> without <laughs> with Carson. <laughs> and apparently they did have a filter on. It was a humor filter. <laughs> that stunk. Wow. We got to get Donald Trump on the phone. What he's not the promoting hell? anything, so he's not going to just come on our show. <laughs> but we got to ask him why. Four minutes left in the show? Yeah. Oh, this is good. This is really good stuff, though. Sorry. <laughs> I don't uh, know, no what filter. You, what, what you were going to say? <laughs> we'll do that over there. <laughs> yeah. This is really good. Here's what we have to stuff. deal with on XM. We have to deal with George Michael and his lovely situation. And yeah. We have to deal with this. This, because, ugh. Well, and, and the blow-up. What a way to ruin this. And the blow-up, buddy, too. Well, let's play another clip yeah, here. Yeah, please. Let's get right, as much in as we can. From uh, Miss Universe. We begin the Miss Universe 2006 competition with Puerto Rico. the band support Morena. I love her. She is sassy. She is sexy. And if loving her is so wrong, I don't want to be right. Ah! Whoa, hold what? it. Ah! Sarong. If loving uh, her is so wrong. Sarong. 
Of course she had a sarong on. Do you know I didn't even get that? I didn't get that. I don't know what a sarong is. I really thought she was just making the quote. <laughs> really? Yeah. I swear to God, what a dope. It's a little thing girls tie around themselves around at the pool when they want to cover up like their little bikini bottom. It's a little sarong. Why Why don't you get straight guys to do this? Why don't you get Jim Florentine and another guy? Why Why uh, do you have to have a gay guy? Men. Get men to, to do this. Yeah. The gay guy is wrecking this. Did, of course get, he is. You're get looking some. at some hot uh, little Hispanic woman walking across the stage, and you got to listen to that drivel. Hey, uh, this is what I want to hear watching that. Hey, would you? I'd kick my wife down the stairs <laughs> if it would help my cause. Get like Back a couple, after this. Get a couple Con Ed workers. Yeah. Exactly. They're not doing anything in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> well, because the rich people don't live there. That's why. <clears throat> yeah. Right. He is sexy. And if loving her is so wrong, I don't want to be right. No, you don't. She has got the attitude. Wait a minute. You're on the other team. You're not on this team. I know, but it's okay. The other team. Switzerland. She's my favorite. Oh, my God. I love her. I think I'm switching teams. <laughs> I know she's supposed to be neutral, but she's one of my favorites. Yeah, come to our side, Carson. It's about time. Switching teams. We get it. Hopefully from the negative to the positive. <laughs> <laughs> Carson stinks. <laughs> he really does. Ugh, I'm gonna spritz you up. Oh, Ugh. shut up. They want to be edgy with their uh, with their show. There, look, a gay uh, guys can be very funny, but I just I'm tired of the just, over the top. I'm gay. It's gonna be crazy. It's not oh, crazy. Every, so do we have to go through 50 gay jokes or whatever it is? How many how many girls are there in the Miss Universe competition? I assume well, it's how many state, planets? How many? How many how many galaxies? <laughs> like, do we have? Nine. Gal yeah, galaxies. Exactly. What? There's 86, but only 20 made it to the final. 86? All right, listen, look, we might be able to get one more clip in here. Russia. Blue Shandy, I call this one from Russia with legs. She is, Carson, but I actually, a blonde, I prefer Denmark and Switzerland. But she's beautiful and she's very, very fit, obviously. She is. That whole part, she's gorgeous. Canada. Happen again? Can Canada I win again? Totally think it can happen again. Look at her snap turn. Snap and turn. That's a pro. Yeah, as long as she doesn't get whiplash. All right, listen. Which one has a? <laughs> I want to vote for the one with the big. <laughs> you know what? Remind us. We're, we got to say this for From tomorrow. From Russia with legs. That's only funny if you're talking about Heather Mills. <laughs> <laughs> that back and forth sucked. Remind us, we got to say this banter. for tomorrow on this yes. side of the Opie and Anthony show. Absolutely. Uh, we got, we started down this road yesterday. We got uh, the Miss Universe banter. They had uh, Carson, the gay guy from Queer Eye or whatever. Queer Eye for the straight guy. And a chick as the commentators for Miss Universe. Yeah, why, why ruin... Uh, I mean, why not ruin Miss Universe? Uh, let's throw a gay guy in there to do the commentary well, instead of just have hot chicks to, to look at. Well, on the way, we got a hungry joke, oh, a wedgie right. commentary. What's he hungry for? Nonsensical innuendos. Gay guy makes a share joke. It's all on the way. Yes, he does. Let's get into the Miss Universe thing. Ooh. So the setup, uh, we talked to Donald Trump. Donald Trump's running this. He used to run Miss America. Uh, I think that got a little too um, uh, politically correct, a little safe. Donald got bored with it. Uh, the ratings dropped, and uh, he got rid of it. Now he's got Miss Universe, which uh, is just about chicks, just about hot chicks. No talent, none of that crap. You, you, who cares? Who cares if she could juggle or sing a song or play a violin? Get her out in that b a bikini. Bikini. A little thong, get uh, some lingerie on the girl, parade her out there. I don't care if she's as, as dumb as a doorknob, just as long as she looks nice. And uh, that's what this show's all about. So how could you possibly wreck it? How, yeah, exactly. How could you F How could you ruin that? How could you ruin a show where they're just going to parade 80 of the hottest chicks in the universe? The whole universe. That includes Rigel 7. I believe that's a planet where Captain Kirk got some 
green bra. Some of these bras were on spaceships for many, many years oh. just to get here. Cryogenically frozen so they could get here in pristine condition. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Somehow had to hitch a ride on a space shuttle. Because it's the universe. For the last few thousand miles. <laughs> How pompous we are as a planet. <laughs> I know. Uh, and and uh, how do you screw it up? By putting announcers in there that do not fit. Well, uh, the lady, she I guess she won the title last year or something. That means she could talk. And she wants to go uh, into journalism and broadcasting. Right. So Welcome. there you go. Give Welcome. her a shot. And then uh, Carson. Carson, the gay guy from Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Because uh, you want to, you, you, when you're a guy looking at hot girls on a show that is nothing but hot girls parading around, you want a gay guy's voice commenting constantly. Yeah, you, you want to be distracted by a gay to guy. To take the hotness away. Right. You just want to be reminded that there's a gay guy there right. commenting. They yeah. didn't want anybody who was going to want to sleep with the girls commenting on it. They yeah. wanted it to be totally safe. Safe, right. Nobody lusting the girls talking into a microphone. It's just yeah, but, the, but here's the problem. Have uh, Jimmy Norton on there. All you'd hear is like... <laughs> like the Jimmy grunts that he does when a hot girl walks in the studio. <laughs> Here's the problem, though. Carson is lusting sort of after these girls in, in that cute gay way. Faking it. Just, exactly. It's just, it's, just, yeah. it's just another way to emasculate the proceedings. Go to online and just grab pornography off the computer. Why would you watch a bunch of people parading in their underpants when you could just get it hard for sex? I don't get it why you'd want that. Unless there's some kind of funny commentary. And I think people like soft, soft yeah. core sometimes. Big fan of soft. They soft, do. Soft core. Like those <laughs> pageants can be good. You sit there and, you know, that one's hot. Oh, wow, this one's coming out good. This one here, ooh, the ass is a little wide. Maybe she should have, you know, worked that off. It's kind of fun. You want to leave a little to the imagination. Uh, no. Hmm. I'd I like, rather have. I like leaving a little, little to the imagination. I think it should be totally nude at the end of the pageant. <laughs> well, that would be that uh, would be that would be ideal. That would be a great pageant. You, who wouldn't watch it right up to the end when they all come out just naked? Oh, all right. Well, never do that. every time she a girl walks out, that stupid gay guy, she just go, Ugh, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Nobody wants that. Enough with the the the, the over the top gay guy. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> they should just get like three regular guys. Of course. Yeah. Regular guys. Just with sit city around. jobs. Three slobs on a couch. Like yeah. Con ed workers, we said yesterday. Hey, look at this one coming out. Construction huh? workers. Nice set. Yeah. No filters whatsoever. Just mm. let them talk. But kind no one has funny with no everything. One has balls anymore, as far as TV goes, except no. the Steve Colbert we were just discussing. Like that. But there's a, that's very rare. The soup. Everything else is uh, so cookie cutter. Our buddy uh, Joel McHale on the soup. Yeah, he was. He's pretty good too. All right, so here we go. Here's uh, here's the uh, the blonde bimbo who has nothing to add, and uh, gay guy Carson uh, commenting on the girls as they're mm. on the stage. Wonderful. Yeah, I think we love Miss Eden. As we say in her home, her homeland, they're Elska Air Stadia. That means we love you, Sweden. She's cute. She has a really sweet look to her. Innocent. But is she? How would he know? Who's laughing at that? Brazil. No Who's one. home cracking up? <laughs> is she? I don't know. What do you think, Frank? Give me a beer. <laughs> Who's laughing at that crap? <laughs> Nobody. No one is laughing at that. It's horrid. It's but someone stinks. behind the scenes has to say, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, this is a great idea. We'll get Carson and the blonde Donald. I think the, Donald. Donald doesn't even know when the show is on. <laughs> do you he, think he, he doesn't even, even have any say? I didn't know when the show was on. You don't think in some meeting they said Donald no. hosting the show no. is going to be the gay guy from Queer Eye and the chick that won like last year? I, I he may, he may know about that, but he's out of touch because he doesn't. Donald doesn't understand the way real guys talk about women. No. What does he know? He's Trump. He, he, yeah, doesn't have, he doesn't have that interaction ever. He walks into a room, all right, you, uh, you know, thank you, and you. Yeah. That, that's what his life You'll is. be my wife for the next few years. You'll right. give me a kid. You'll ruin your body. See ya. I'll pay you off right, real well, and then I'll get another broad. So he doesn't mind listening. Then I'll get a new car. Yeah. All right, here's uh, the rest of this one. But is she? Brazil. Oh. And the crowd goes wild. They love Brazil here. 
a minor. I think she almost had a wedgie situation. <laughs> was that a wedgie thing? I think uh. it's all tasting good. <laughs> she did it very tastefully. That's funny. Almost that is it. good. Wedgie. That's good. Wedgie. <laughs> Boy, uh, construction workers must have just been hitting their Pabst Blue Ribbon beers together. <laughs> TiVo, rewind the TiVo a little bit. Uh, this faggot's hysterical. <laughs> did he say what I think he did? A wedgie. Oh, oh. Thank God the kids are in bed. <laughs> <laughs> just more innocent drivel. Let's go to Kevin in New York. Kevin. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Hey, Kevin. Hey, sir. Do you want to talk, or should we just kind of read your mind? You're on the air. Speak. I couldn't hear you guys, sorry. Listeners, 0 for 3 today. 0 for 3! <laughs> no, I just want to talk to you guys about the Con Ed workers. Uh, they're not so bad. No, huh? Did I say the Con Ed workers are, are bad? No, you said they sit around. I said they should sit around and watch the show, you ass! I'm not talking about your actual job. I said, get some Con Ed workers to sit around and watch this yeah. as the commentators. Except in Queens, where because they're not doing their jobs, you can't get any TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thrust back into the 1800s. People have been without power Queens. since 78. Can yeah. you fix it? <laughs> By the way, no one's going to give a crap, but over the weekend... Um, uh, thanks, Kevin. Now we're going to go off on a little tangent here. Uh, here in New York... Uh, uh, an area in Queens, no power for what, eight, eight, nine, eight, ten days? Eight, ten right. days now. Something like that, okay? It, it's a really big story here in New York, and, and the system is failing and blah, blah, blah. They got everyone, uh, you know, back up and running pretty much, I think, right, at this Kind point? of temporary. There's, like, big electrical lines running down the street. Uh, they have to get those underground, and when they do that, they have to shut people's power off. So a disgrace. And something blew up this morning. Some manhole covers flew up in the air, yeah, and uh, uh, more power went out. So, well, the point I want to make uh, it's a it's a huge story. A lot of people were affected in that area, okay. Mm -hmm. And no one's going to give a crap. But I have an observation. I, I was watching the British Open. I, I like watching golf. Mm -hmm. And Tiger wins. Uh, Tiger Woods winning the British Open was just a, a great sports moment this past weekend. So I'm watching it, and all of a sudden they do a special report. With the mayor and the Con Ed people talking about uh, where they're at with this power outage in, in Queens. Oh, I see where you're going here. And I'm sitting there going, the people that care about this special report do not have power. They can't see it. Put the British Open back on TV. And the people that have power don't care that there's people without power. Yeah, that's the reality I of it. I don't care. If you're not affected, you don't give a crap unless yeah. you have like a, an old aunt or grandma that lives in that area. You don't care. Yeah. So I'm sitting there like, why are they breaking into the British uh, Open to do a special report for people that can't watch TV? Especially golf. <laughs> you know, anybody who empathizes with people in Queens watching golf. Well, that's the point. I know no one's going to care because I was, I, was, I was watching golf. But, I, I mean, you'll understand what I'm saying, yeah. though, how stupid this is. I haven't given it a second thought no. that they have no power. I'm sorry. I can't be bothered. <sighs> so stupid. I'm sitting there like you got to be kidding, and, and it was really, it was really heating up and getting interesting at the British Open, and then and they pop into a special report. A putt for birdie, and for the win. <laughs> nah, that's more than that, but, uh, but no one's gonna give a crap. All right, here we go. Uh, more commentary from Carson and the the oh good the blonde bimbo from Miss Universe over the weekend. Trinidad and Tobago. Think she has the best face of the pageant. Oh, and how about her Trinidad's and Tobago's? Not bad either. Trinidad's and Tobago's are nicely packaged, yes, but the face of the pageant, I think. What does that mean? Uh, her boobies. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Let me titter. I caught the innuendo. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> He's a naughty one. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Stupid Mo, shut it. <laughs> Mo. Isn't this really annoying, though? Revolting. Good natured, joshing around. I imagine the Miss Universe pageant is seen by many millions of people. And, and someone had and to sign off on this and say, this is, this is uh, going to be some great TV. And believe me. I, I'm just thinking that they're just lazy behind the scenes at this point. They're just lazy. Any mound in a, a girl's shirt is not what this guy's looking at. What do they call Please. them? Trinidad's and something? And Tobago. What does that mean? It's the country she's from. So he put it in a, a, a way where it sounded like he was talking about her breasts. 
How funny is that? I, I can't get over that that guy did that. Had that air. I'm surprised the FCC's not all over the edgy <laughs> talk uh, that those two had. Whoa. Yeah. Oof. 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 All right, moving on. A lawyer nota, Trinidad and Tobago no longer allowed to be said on <laughs> these airwaves since people now will equate them with bosoms. <laughs> CBS Law Firm. <laughs> CBS Law Firm taking the fun out of radio. Yeah. Uh, well, here's the share joke we all are have been looking of forward to. Of course. Bolivia. Now, Bolivia to me resembles a lot of Miss Universe 2003 Amelia Vega, who's actually one of the judges. I wonder if that'll work in her favor. Racist. I love her because she looks like Cher. <laughs> and we know you queers love Cher. You sure do. <laughs> He's from Bolivia. How about that's the hottest heroin mule I've ever looked at? <laughs> Why wouldn't you do a joke like that? He does see a trail of little baggies with, with white powder falling out as she's walking. Exactly. I hope she doesn't sneeze where the back of her bathing suit is going to be filled with coke. <laughs> 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 no, nah, don't go that angle. Oh, she looks like Cher. You <laughs> know what we should have done? We should have watched the exact same uh, footage that they're commenting on and had our own comment. Do our own commentary. Next time. Next lazy, time. lazy bastards we are. You hear the uh, the fake uh, laugh by yeah. the, the, <laughs> the oh, blonde bimbo. I recognize the name Cher. I know, and we know you gay guys just love Cher. Yeah. How about a joke about Hungary? Ooh. Hungary. This one. I think that probably all the girls are feeling a little hungry. I, I mean, what have they are. been eating the last two weeks? Like Tic Tacs and ice cubes? What? Ice cubes, honey. We eat ice cubes. Are you serious? No. No wonder they're a little listless. Um, I get it. I just like the way he stressed the word hungry. It looks like they're all a little hungry. Oh, all right. I wasn't sure you were going with that. I'm hungry for some <laughs> <laughs> big, fat, juicy. <laughs> so I'm hungry. For, are we on the air anymore? What happened? What happened to the on air light? Yeah. Um, we got to back up. Rob in uh, Salem. I'll back up into a. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, enough. Uh, Rob, very mad at me. No surprise. What here. happened? Rob in Salem, uh, Virginia. Uh, Opie, you dope. Does it not occur to you that people without electricity during a heat wave are probably at friends' houses in AC watching TV? Or maybe they have a battery-operated TV so that they can find battery. out what the hell is up. Who has an idiot? Battery-operated TV. Who? You name me one person. <laughs> With a battery-operated TV, and I'll pick it up and smash their foot with it. <laughs> that works. No one has a battery-operated no. TV. And that's you know what? Stephen King novel, stupid. <laughs> and you know what, Rob? Even if that's true, the 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 amount of people that are yeah, affected right. that will actually be in front of a TV at that moment are so slim, it's not worth doing. Is what I'm saying. Besides the fact that every single uh, local station in New York was uh, covering the exact same thing. So why didn't, mm -hmm. uh, what was it, ABC here in New York, why didn't they just have the balls and say, you know what, someone else will cover this horse ass. I, we're going to continue watching the British Open over here. Because they're so afraid of you. This is the problem. They're so terrified of losing viewers. They're not really informing you of anything. They're just terrified that you're going to tune out of their station. Mm -hmm. They're tune out. No one affected was watching golf even on there. Battery-powered television. Oh, yeah. And th thank you, Anthony. Yeah. So if you were affected because you had no electricity, the last thing you're doing is is hanging out at a friend's house watching the British Open. I saw a report or heard a report from uh, John Montone on 1010 Wins yesterday where he interviewed somebody that was out power. I could not understand the person speaking. <laughs> I believe it was an Asian gentleman, uh, but I can't be sure. And it was, you know, they're not watching uh, golf. If if the soccer, you know, if that was on the World Cup, then there be a problem. Then Dang. I could see a lot of battery powered TVs just lining the street, but uh, not golf. All right. Uh, let's see. We have two more clips, thank God, and we'll move on. Here we go. More commentary. We more. Paraguay. 
was also a little bit of a surprise for me, but I can see why she made it in the top 20. She has an amazing body. I'm not so graceful on the snap and turn. There was you know, no snap. Swimsuit's one from the neck up here, and she doesn't have that energy. Oh, I wasn't looking from the neck up. <laughs> what were you looking for? Looking I wasn't looking from the neck up. Looking from the waist down. Her laugh you look, was genuine, too. <laughs> I wasn't looking for the neck up. I was looking at the page standing there on side stage. I'm humming, humming, humming. And a lot of people are asking, is Carson serious with these jokes? Yeah, this is what you get. This is quality TV right this here. Is, this is television. Uh, all right, finally, this is the last one, and then we can finally move on. Argentina. Sandy. Candy, don't cry for her, Argentina. She is, she's so sweet looking. Oh, she has the face of an angel, Carson. She really does. Beautiful face. Ukraine. I'm in love with this girl's hair. Are you? It's giving me a Ukraine headache. <laughs> it looks like it hurts. I think it's just, it's fresh. You wouldn't know it hurts. Girl. Oh my God, she got extra points for whipping her Pareto around. That was genius. Great walk. If anyone knows pain, it's Carson. <laughs> Boy, all the men that were lusting after these women. I don't know how you guys just... How do you watch this when you're laughing so hard? At the gay guy the and line's the coming out. woman fake laughing because at him. The people enjoying this pageant are, relate to that humor. Yeah. That's a very, yeah. very in-touch way of looking at it. They relate to that humor. Just working Joes that want to see some semi-clad women. They want to hear a gay guy's loud commentary because it's fun. That's what they're used to around the job. Why don't, why don't more people see it our way? I don't get this. Uh, Nathan in Massachusetts. Nathan, your comment. Yeah. I, the reason I have a gay guy on here doing this yeah. is because if, if it's a guy who's, you know, like you or me, you know, who actually checks these women out on a regular day-to-day -day basis, they're like, oh, this guy's a chauvinist pig. Look at him. He's he's such a slob. Who well, well, cares? It's the Miss Universe pageant. Yeah, the whole contest is based on uh, exactly. chicks just being hot. You don't need to cover it up. We all know that everybody, right. you know, looks at these girls and says, oh, yeah, I totally bang her. Holy crap. You know, it's like, you know, and then there's the guy, guy oh, look, he's so, it's so cute. He, we know he, they, he really doesn't care. Right, exactly. That's what, But that is why they don't want it to come off as too chauvinistic. They're trying to be sophisticated. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a, a hot chick contest. You don't need yeah. chauvinistic, then show a bunch of fat girls doing geometry. It's one, <laughs> it's one, it's one step above a, a wet t-shirt contest, barely, yeah, yeah. barely. Yeah, it's 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 a cable fitted wet t-shirt. Screw cable the contest. sophistication. They're a bunch of hooas. Yeah. Oh, funny, they're funny dumber than a game, box yeah. of rocks, and you just want to see their snatches. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny if it's a gay guy. It's rude if it's a Jesus. straight guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Punching out. Sorry, but uh, you know, but that's that's what we're looking at. That's pretty much we're it. We're all wondering what they look like naked. That's it. We don't give a crap if they want to save the world or go into journalism or broadcasting or what a gay guy thinks about uh, any of them. Oh, you're the one that's gonna. To, you're the one that's gonna cure AIDS. Are you? You're gonna be the one, the dumb bimbo from a third world nation. Yeah. Please. Shut up and show us your 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 naughty parts. <laughs> <laughs> show us the dirty areas. <laughs> show us the areas you have to clean in the shower a little more than the others. Right. That's what we want to see as men. Show us those areas where you're just ashamed. <laughs> show us the areas that you use that special washcloth for. <laughs> show us the areas that give you validity as a human. <laughs> Show us the areas you have and that are the only reasons we talk to you. <laughs> Show us the areas that get you free dinner and movies. <laughs> show, us, show us the areas that you use the soap, the same soap that your dad uses to wash his face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I screwed it up. Show, show us the areas that never smell like the back of your neck <laughs> or your arms. Show us the areas that leave marks on linoleum when you sit the wrong way. <laughs> Show us the areas that w would make a gay guy puke. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the areas that make the fruit roll-up sound when you do jumping jack. <laughs> Show us the areas you have a special doctor for. 
Mm. Shows the areas that force you to make m less money than men. <laughs> 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 My lines are okay. That's My what we want to see. Stinks. <laughs> That's very funny. Show us the areas. That's what we want to see as men. Those. Show us the areas that make us want to talk to you. <laughs> I said that one. Uh, oh, you did. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. Show us the areas that make Opie pay more attention. I'm trying. I'm looking at feedback. I'm trying to get some good calls on the air. Fan is yelling. We have to take a break. Oh, boy. It's Whip Em Out Wednesday on the Opie and Anthony Show. Get your wow stickers. You throw it on your car. There's girls out there that will show you boobs as uh, as you're driving to work. It's yes, they fact. will. It's a fact, okay? Ooh. Uh, what? Mmm. Some Tobago's. <laughs> I look at her Turks and Caicos. Uh, mm, ah, oh. Did you? <laughs> Show us the areas that black men rip apart. <laughs> <laughs> that's bo that's Booby Man. And of course he's calling from Brooklyn. <laughs> of course, Brooklyn. He has, he has personal. Now all the shows your areas are coming in. <laughs> Show us the areas that make you bad at math. There's Rob, who hated me a few moments ago. See, we turned him around a little bit. Uh, uh. All right, and we'll get into the shows in the areas after the break, because there's hundreds of them coming in now. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. Ah, it's Whipping Out Wednesday on the Opie and Anthony Show. Get your wow stickers on your cars and your trucks and your motorcycles. There are women out there flashing as we speak. Let's say hi to, uh, I hung up. Ah, oh, we were going to go to you. And then people would laugh and laugh and laugh. Just going to use a caller to set up a uh, little Andrew Dice Gay. Aww. Someone was suggesting that Andrew Dice Gay should have been one of the commenta uh, commentators at uh, the Miss Universe pageant. Oh. Uh, would have been beautiful. I think Andrew Dice Gay might make an appearance at some of the ONA virus events. Yeah, you're That's gonna, what I'm hearing. You hear? You're going to be at the ONA Traveling Virus? Yeah, I'm thinking of going there and uh, doing some rhymes. Some of my old act. But I uh, updated for the new me. You know, the faggot me. The one that loves big fat <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, huh? <laughs> I like a man's yeah. to just be loose. Yeah, I don't like the uh, 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 virgins. Not me. I like a big sloppy <laughs> on a man. I want the <laughs> to be so gooey and loose, I don't need no effort. I could just fag it up with him anytime. Bend over. <laughs> I'm a faggot. Did you watch the Miss Universe pageant? I wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, Carson there from Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. I love that guy. I want his <laughs> in my because <laughs> I'm gay now. <laughs> Where's my yam bag? That's what I call him. My little yam bag. <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. The new dice loves. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do an act, you know, where I dug the chicks. Yeah. Remember a long time ago? Do you remember? Of course we remember. A long time ago. Yeah. I would do this act where I go, so I'm online with this chick at the bank, and I got my <laughs> up a <laughs> Remember that one? That's a classic. It was all a lie. It was? It was all a lie. Yeah. I was living a lie. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> you you put yourself out there, and people laugh at you. When the truth of the matter is, I was yearning for c <laughs> I needed it. It's like fuel for me. You know, a women's, women's c are like kryptonite to me. I'm horrified by them. Horrified. But men, men got what I want. Men, hairy-chested men. You hear? You hear? Uh, I'm not here. <laughs> you hear me? Uh, Say you hear me. I'm deaf right now. Because I, I when don't hear crap. there's nothing like 
down. You know, why I would talk about chicks and bedding them down and, you know, oh, they'd be in the bed going, oh, dice, I love you. And I go, get out of here. You know why? Why? Because deep inside, I wanted big fat man. <laughs> who wouldn't? Oh, wait, a friend's coming over. <laughs> A friend's coming over. Yeah. Hi there, Bruce. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'll give you the normal greeting. <laughs> Oh, oh, did I need that. <laughs> there ain't nothing like a guy shooting <laughs> right in your face. Hi. Oh, here's another friend. Billy's coming over. Well, they're lined up outside the door. It's my friend door. Billy. Hi, I'm Andrew Dice Gay. Bruce brought you over. Here's my greeting. <laughs> oh, oh, all over Dice's face. I love to taste the man's. <laughs> it's great. I take it in the in my. Up the, in my, on my, in the, at a, in the, up the, through the, wherever. Who are you? Come here. No. No. It's like having a fresca. It's so refreshing when a guy shoots his all over, in my, on my, Throw my, in my, I don't care anywhere. Come here. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Hey, Jack, pull out your... No! Look at me. I look like a glazed donut. Because it's all over me. All this man... All over my... In my, through my, in my, on my, in my, on, in, through, at, at, near, fall. Because when they one right in my, I, I'm, I'm, I, it's heaven. Heaven. Uh, oh, one more somebody. Yeah, there's another person at the door there. Hello, it's the UPS guy. Yeah. Well. You got a package for Andrew Dice Gay? <laughs> no. What a delivery of <laughs> right in my. All right, all right, we get it. We get it. <laughs> Can I have a paper towel? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna be at the ONA traveling virus doing a little something in front of everybody. Yeah. I uh, well we here. We here. It's all wet here. <laughs> I, uh, the ONA traveling Banana virus. Juice. It's all the comedians you know and love from this show. Jesus. All the info's up on opianthony.com. We got a special oh, announcement for Boston bitch. today because Bob Saget uh, blew us off yesterday. He's going to be calling this side of the show, hopefully in about uh, half hour, forty minutes. All right. So uh, Boston, make sure you're listening around eight thirty. Holy crap, is that good? <laughs> Messiest bit ever. <laughs> what bit? And then some ass. Why are you bleeping? Oh Jesus! Are you kidding? Was I bleeping? You know, bleeping on XM. The, you know, I think I was talking over the bleep. Of course you were. <laughs> Jaggies, Bill from Waterford, show us the areas that make you take all forty thousand dollars out of my oh, bank no. account. <laughs> I'm just. What happened? I'm breaking everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the screw just came out of the. The screw. It just came out of the microphone. Well, all did right. it break or? Uh, Dan will fix it. Yeah, they're fixing me. your mic. Crystal on Long Island, what's up? Yeah, I just wanted to say, could you guys not get fired? <laughs> well, we try, we try, and we try. Because I would have no. That's good. All right. Into the city would be horrible. All right, Crystal, we'll try to be here for a while, but uh, you know, we got to take it right to the edge. We got to continue <laughs> taking it right to the edge. All right. Thanks. All right. <clears throat> You're back uh, functioning there? Yeah, I think the microphone. Andrew Dice Gay. <laughs> oh, was he here? 
Did I miss him? Wow, that was a little too real. <laughs> uh, sure know a lot about blowholes. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be fun to see him. Yeah. Make a little appearance. Yeah. The jacket's being made as we speak. I hear. I hear there might be a, a jacket and... Tickets available through Ticketmaster. The ONA traveling virus. Uh, all right. Here we go. Oswald from Whackbag. Oh, yeah, we can't say that website yet. Is that the deal, right? Uh, I don't think so. It's All right. a whack bag, right? It just doesn't mean anything. Nah, they, they, they dump out every time we say it. So, uh, Well, Oswald from one of our fan sites. All our fan sites are linked through opianthony.com. Show us the areas that made Opie climb up an apple tree. Show me your area where an old whoopsie daisy will have a stewed tomato falling out of it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Internet Stalker Z. <laughs> the old whoopsie daisy. That's from Massachusetts. Mike C. from Massapequa Park. Show us the areas that make us want to buy you Fidelity Diamonds. <laughs> and Dave from Little Rock, Arkansas. Show us the areas that make Jimmy pull out his wallet at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> they continue to come in. What else is America talking about? Uh, America. Miss USA, great video. Go to break.com and watch Rachel Smith fall down in her evening gown. Oops, Miss uh, USA from the Miss Universe pageant. Oh, I didn't see that. Fell on her ass. Turn on your screen and you can see it for yourself there, Jimmy. She's doing her sexy walk yeah, down sexy the runway. Walk, sexy walk, sexy walk. Look at this. And then... Look at this. Look at oh, this sexy no. walk. Oh, <laughs> there she goes and gets right back up like it never happened. It didn't happen. No one saw that. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. <laughs> and then she makes more sex. She should have just pulled her top off at that point. And when your whole job is to look sexy as you walk in an evening gown and you fall down, I'm, I'm thinking you're not going to win the competition. Yeah. Well, what she should have done is stopped and actually looked at the camera like, I suck, and laughed. And, like, let everybody know, like, all right, we all saw it just happen. Laugh at yourself. Yeah. Don't just be a dumb model and just smile like we didn't see it. Well, at least the uh, at least the audience there was sympathetic to her uh, plight of falling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They heckled, laughed, and mocked her the rest <laughs> of the competition. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> That's awesome. Booed her. Really? <laughs> yeah. Where was the competition held? A bunch of, uh, I don't know. America. Uh, Baghdad. Uh, what? Mexico. What planet? Oh, nice. It's Miss Universe, though. I think it was on Earth like for the past how many years has it been on Earth? Ah. How come we get the Miss Universe pageant every year? Shouldn't another planet have it or another galaxy? It is Miss Universe, Alpha Centauri, perhaps are next you, year. Are you the warm-up act for uh, that's me <laughs> for the radio for a, show for a bad <laughs> talk show? <laughs> Why is Miss Universe held on Earth? And why isn't Mars representing? <laughs> <laughs> what a hack. Well, that was a good bit. Oh, uh, no, it wasn't. It was. It was, it was fine. Why don't we do the stage uh, dive chick real fast? Ah, uh, stage diving into nowhere. I hate this song. I want to smack her. <laughs> I, I have to play the isolated clip. Oh, where is she? Yeah, she was done with her little song, decided to stage dive, and no one was there. When she does that doggy bark uh, thing, boop, 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 I, boop, I boop, boop. just want to smack her. We should have someone imitate her. One of the boys on staff should imitate woo, that. Woo, 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 woo. Here woo, she is. Woo, 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 woo. Here's, a, here's the... Uh, Amplified version. <laughs> <laughs> she stage dives and no one's there to pick her up. <laughs> Hits the floor. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get you. It's a terrible song. <sighs> By the way, I love Mexico today. Uh, just moving on quickly here. Have you seen Obviously. the video of, um, well, we, we got lots to do today. <laughs> Mexico, what happened? Uh... Miss USA getting booed? Yeah. Check out that video. It's hilarious. I know. She falls right on her ass. Well, obviously, they did, uh, what, Miss Universe or uh, yeah. down there in Mexico this time around? Yeah, here she is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she, she came out, and, you know, Mexico, eh, they're not big fans of the U.S. No. The ones that have to stay there anyway. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are big fans of the U.S. that... 
Yeah, they used to live in uh, Mexico. Skip over the border. But the ones that don't make it, you know what? They're not big fans of uh, the U.S. No. Miss Universe Padgett was down there in Mexico. So Miss USA, uh, she gets booed during introduction. They just they just couldn't. They just had it with uh, with this uh, this broad. And she didn't do anything wrong, but she had the big USA on her chest, and that's all it took for Mexico to go go nuts over. Boo. So uh, here you go. El boo. USA. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Uno momento, por favor. Oh, she did acknowledge it. Okay. I'm like, oh, why aren't the hosts? Her, the host. Yeah, the That's host. That's the host. The that, hostess. Uh, that used to be on FTV, right? What's her name? She speaks a little Spanish. Uh, Martha Quinn. Oh, you worked <laughs> yeah. with her, Jimmy. You worked with her. Martha. Nina Blackwood. No. <laughs> That's Nina Blackwood. J.J. Jackson. I beat her up oh, in Vice Squad. No, she was. Did you? She uh she uh she goes out with Nick Lachey. Yeah, her name is Vanessa, Vanessa Manila. Manila. Yeah, no, I know. yeah, there you go. Oh. She's Thank actually, you, Kenny. She's actually very nice. She was one of the few people that would have me on and help promote. We were returning to the airwaves in 2004. Ooh, very nice. Yes. And she also wore a fat suit, though. Yeah, I know. One of the was. many. Oh, she's uh, one. Okay, now yeah. I remember who she is. Yeah, I was wondering if they were going to acknowledge that uh, Miss USA there was getting booed real loud. And, and finally in Spanish, she said, one moment, one please. One moment, please. One moment, please. That's an acknowledgement. How about shut up? Yeah, when you hear Have that. Have some respect. When you're part of a booing crowd and you hear one moment, please. You know what? I, I shut up right away. Yeah, one moment, please. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Tick a lock, <laughs> tick a lock. <laughs> yes. Okay, uno momento, por favor. She has selected judge number one, Tony Romo. Your question, please. Yeah. If you could go back and re- you know, I know that. What's the chant? I, 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 that's why I stopped it. I know what the chant is, but it does sound like it could be something really bad. Is it in Spanish or English? Uh, I think they're just chanting. Do you want me to tell you? Well, hold on. How about is it? Let me, let me guess. How about is it is it thanks for every modern day invention? Thanks for every modern day invention. Or um or um half of us will be there next year. Half of us will be there next year. I don't think that's it either. Is it um um here's some more diarrhea? Uh, what could they be chanting? Uh, I don't know. More anti US sentiment? Swim, run, flee. Swim, run, flee. How about um uh, thanks for not just walking in and taking over this dump. Thanks for not just walking in and taking over this dump. <laughs> what were they chanting? What could they possibly have been chanting? Uh, I can't figure it out. Um. If you could go back and relive one moment in your life, what moment would you pick and why? The one right before I arrived here yeah, so okay. I could just keep driving. Do you know how great that would have been if she said the one right before I walked out yeah, so I wouldn't have right to get these I idiots booing me? Yeah. <laughs> she should have thrown the competition right well, there. Well, they're, they're, oh. ch- they're uh, chanting Mexico. That oh, was right. Mexico? Mm-hmm. That's not bad. Mexico. They love their country. Yeah. Uh, the audience is not interested in her response to the question. Oh, ah, okay. I would have to say I would go back to January of 2007 when I traveled to South Africa to volunteer at the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. I'm very passionate about education, and being there in South Africa just sparked my interest even more uh, for education and all that I can do for that. I so too. I would go. Yeah. I would How about go going back, back to, to September Africa. 10th, when you idiot? Just Mexico. Thank 2001 you. and say, excuse me, I believe Thank there's going to be a problem much. tomorrow. <laughs> excuse me, well, please don't do that. Yeah, yeah. They, they boot her for going to South Africa because they're all fans of Prime Minister Botha. And they don't like Botha. the regime. She That's great. Those people. That's great because she's the same one that fell. So she falls yeah. on the stage. She was just in a, just a, in a panic. Living hell. Living hell. She falls on the stage and then she just gets booed at by uh, the, the Mexican crowd there. So there you go. All right. That's very rude. I don't think that happens in the U.S. when they have the uh, contest in the United States. I've never seen a, a contestant being heckled. I'll tell you why. Yeah, because we don't heckle in America. Why is that? Because everyone looks at us like we're the champions. We're the best ones, and that's mm. the problem. Mm. And we're the big... We are... When you're Mexico... Yeah. And you have America above you, it's got to be awful. Mm. We're Mexico. Oof. We have to transcend all that stuff as Americans. We have to be better than that. Ugh. 
I don't think we care enough about other countries. Oh, like like all of a sudden uh, Miss uh, Miss uh, whatever. She'd have to be Miss Bin Laden or <laughs> or Francis Al Qaeda. It would have to be such an obvious connection <laughs> that we would boo. Because we're polite idiots. Like if Miss Iran was there, yeah, we'd be nice to her. Like, oh, isn't that courageous? She's she's not a member of that regime. You know, we're we're in U.S. Yeah. But we are nice about certain things. Isn't she beautiful? Yes. Can't see. Her. <laughs> no. Yeah, can't see her. 